Scott Spinelli taking over one and two in his tenure. But this Duke team is also different over the last 12 games with Mark Williams in the starting lineup. A lot of changes for BC as a program, certainly. But Jim Christian being cut loose in the middle of February as Duke strikes right away. First bus bucket here by Williams. But since that time, Mark Williams has really been the anchor both defensively and offensively for this Blue Devil team going inside to him, opening up opportunities for his teammates. James Carnick going in strong. He's 6'9", the senior. Lehigh transfer and very capable of having a pretty good game. He had 20 against Syracuse. Boston College and for some turnovers. But Duke had won four consecutive games and really looked like as Williams strikes again. Allie, thank you very much. I'm glad we got a little class on this broadcast finally with Allison Williams. Talked about his big performance against Boston College and a one-point win of Cameron Indoor after Duke was off for 20 days. And Mark Williams kind of rushed that one, of course, could have come down and gone back up with the size advantage. Not many people on the Boston College lineup going to be able to contend with them, but Jay Heath answering at the other end of the floor. An early issue for Boston College is the turnovers, and Duke is the one team you do not want to turn the basketball over against because they can turn defense into offense very quickly as Jordan Goldwire steps up and knocks down the field. He gives it up to Ashton Langford. Carnick has it rejected by Williams. Phone calls, it just made me realize how much I missed being a part of this league. Well, it's wonderful having you back, it really is. And uh, you know, Coach K talked about this too, and that one swished in by Stewart. He's gotten off to a nice start here. Right now, you can see everyone in the white uniform locked in and trying to come away with the win here this afternoon. Coach firing away from the corner, the freshman from Leesburg, Virginia. It happened to be coached by the GOAT himself, Mike Krzyzewski, the back in 2017. Stewart cooking early, gets a nice feed off to Williams, who slams it down. As freshmen, off to a great start in this their first ACC tournament game. Kamari Williams getting inside. Eight straight 30-point games. Of course, my Virginia Cavaliers happen to be two of those 30-point games. Oh, so you know, that part, then, yes. <laughs> oh, what a tough shot by Ashton Langford. It was a gigantic outburst from him. Talk about enthusiastic. He was hurt again for three. Yes, well, let him keep shooting it. He's going to hit a lot of them. Spending time with his family, it was such a unique part of the offseason and all this COVID pause and everything. His players got to spend time with their family. He said that was really a silver lining. If I'm Matthew Hurt's father, and again, of course, you want to help your son in any way you possibly can. I'm not chasing rebounds. Part of your cardiovascular conditioning is you miss a <laughs> shot, you chase it. You now Boston College going to the zone. But with the way Duke can shoot the basketball, especially that guy, you've got to identify, oh, okay, DJ. You often don't have the ability to be able to find the other lethal scorers. And right now, DJ Stewart off to a great start in his first ACC tournament game. And Scott showing a nice touch early, already knocked down a three and then stepping into the mid-range with two buckets for him in this game. But when you're getting him that close to the rim, Mark Williams is always going to have success. Taking matters into his own hands often at times, but giving Duke a post press. He was defensive player of the year. He got a big old smile. He's a great smile. He said, I got to save me. I was like, are you sure about that? He's like, I, I got to save me. I got to have confidence in myself. Here's Baker trying to lean into one. Gives it up instead. Stewart's been their star along with Williams. And that jumper right in front of the end of the first half. Another three. Duke has been on target. They lead it 41 to 27. But now the first round of the NCAA tournament has an 11 seed better than the Duke Blue Devils. It sounded a little like you were arguing with Joey Brackets there. Just, just no. a little bit. Which is BYU against the number one team in the country, Gonzaga. That's also coming up later on tonight. So a lot of tickets being punched. The Horizon, the Summit League, among others. We've got a number of guys here playing with tremendous energy, tremendous effort. And you can see it's becoming contagious along their bench as well. Oh, Stewart, just sweet getting his own shot like that. The freshman. Duke moved the ball exceptionally well in the first half. They're doing it again in the second. Williams with the dunk. 
see Jeremy Roach on the attack and just knowing, hey, I can just throw it up to my big fella. No one from Boston College can contest him. He goes to get it. Mark Williams flushes it. And that's a, you know, a weapon that Duke did not have early in the season. Of course, can't forget the fact that he's also the proud father of Mike White, the head coach for the Florida Gators, who enjoying another great season at Florida. It's going to be a highly coveted position. Drew Stewart again. Hurt fighting for the rebound. Saved it. Nice job. More from the corner will bury it. As Corey likes to say, sharing the sugar. <laughs> Corey right. likes to say it, but Corey didn't come up with it. That's all you. Coleman with the block there. The drive and kick to Stewart and the lane opens up a bit. What a smart play that was to attack like that. Now an easy bucket. Probably the easiest one he's had all night. He threw the swing for Felder. Goes airborne and a whistle too. He'll go to the line. C.J. Felder. Shot clock down to six for Duke. Stewart wants to negotiate. Gave it up for the Goldwire jumper. <laughs> he's able to bury it. Goldwire looking inside. Williams really commanding the ball. Really wants it there. Goldwire open for three. Absolutely swishes that one home. You've done it. You know, I've, I've gone away in games where you've had to do the play-by-play. -play, so yeah, you, you did a better solo than I did. I was, I was waiting for you to get back. It's going to be fun. I believe we're going to have a fun week in Greensboro and going to be interesting to see who walks away with the championship as Henry Coleman gets involved in the action. COVID issues, fought his way through it. Yeah, did a heck of a job. Hurt right on target with that long shot to make it 65 to 40. Roach over the top. Coleman getting some minutes here. Shovels it back outside. Baker back in. Boy, they moved the ball brilliantly in this game. Not be fair to be comparing Larry Legend to uh, very many other players, quite frankly, but Baker will lock that one. That's certainly his game and absolutely drains the thrill. This is actually the first time the two have really played on, on an organized basketball team together. They're just a few years apart in age, but Makai went away to prep school to play basketball. And then they just kind of blew it open about eight or nine minutes ago. Rolling to the basket, the big Justin Vanderbon, a seven foot freshman out of Northbridge, Massachusetts. But the one thing that you like about this effort, and we mentioned it early in the game, for the Blue Devils, they're getting a lot of guys playing time. Ten players have played so far for Duke. And just keep on raining three-pointers. With a tough game ahead of you tomorrow, Yep, taking on Louisville. And that'll roll on in for Jeremy Roach, another freshman. And another McDonald's High School All-American for Coach K. He was about to win his 66th game in the ACC tournament and improved to 66 and 23 all time. I agree that he's definitely pretty good. And, um, you know, I'm also pretty certain that he will be the number one pick heading to the Jacksonville Jaguars. We look forward to the rematch. Look at the bench for Duke. As pumped up as it gets, Keenan Worthington getting in there. And the starters and the guys who are normally in the rotation continuing to do the same for the guys who don't get as many minutes as Patrick Tepe is able to finish off the dunk. Final seconds here in Greensboro of our second game of the day. All Duke Blue Devils. They win this one resoundingly by a final score of 86-51 over Boston College.